it's Diana from tinydevotions.com. And Jen from smilelyheart.com. And we're here talking about vision boards. So one of our goals at Tiny Devotions is to use our mala beads to inspire people to set goals and manifest their dreams. Um, a really great tool to do this with is vision boards. So show us your vision board, Jen. All right. <clears throat> this is a vision board. So what, <laughs> a vision, <laughs> what a vision board is, and there's several techniques in which to do this, is a visual manifestation of what you want to create in your life. How long have you had this vision board for? I've had this one for probably a year. I'm working on another one because things are changing, but I've been doing them for... I'd say probably six years, and everything just comes to life. It's pretty crazy. So, so what? Maybe point out like two or three of your favorite things, and whether they've kind of become reality. Um, pretty much everything on here has pretty much happened, but um, I can't even specify one thing. But I met Sean Corn. I have a picture with Sean Corn, and I love uh, how tiny devotions yeah, is on tiny here. Yeah, tiny devotions. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and uh, yeah, nothing specific, but. For me, it's all about... The so what's like the eat, pray, love thing all about? For me, I wanted to dedicate my... I'm 29 this year, and I wanted to ded dedicate this year to eat, pray, love. Just, just discovering who I am. And um, I really like... That's my favorite book. And it was just a kind of a discovery about me. So just creating this year. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't something really cool happen with eat, pray, love? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I tried... I almost met Elizabeth Gilbert. Yeah. And... Um, I gave her a mala bead. Elizabeth <laughs> Gilbert devotions. now has a set of tiny devotions mala beads. So Jen here is a little bit of a vision board guru. Yeah. So tell us about your method of how to make a vision board. Okay. Well, first of all, my method is there is no real method. For me, it's just, <laughs> it's just how I feel, basically. I'm a big feeler, and I just kind of like collect magazines and start cutting things out. And then what I'll do is I'll put them on a board and just kind of make sure it feels right. So with this one, I'd put yoga in the middle because it's grounding, and, and then I just kind of spread it out from there. But for me, the whole picture has to, has to be my life. And one really important thing for me is that I like to put it somewhere where I can see it every day so that, and I can sit and I can stare at it and I can feel it happening. I think that's the most important part for me is just believing it and feeling it because it's gonna happen. Whatever you put on here, it just happens. So be careful what you put on here. <laughs> <laughs> and so you got all these photos from like magazines. Yes. A funny thing actually happened on the way over to the studio. Yeah. Tell us what happened. Well, I was on my way home from work and, you know, everyone's like, where do you get magazines? And, and I'm like, don't worry, don't buy them. Like you just, you just find them places. And people are like, really? So anyways, <laughs> I find this bag <laughs> Um, magazines, all these magazines. Where did you was, find it? I walked through this uh, alleyway on my way home from Capers getting a cookie, and uh, it was like near the mail, so somebody left it there, and there's tons of magazines in here. So you never have to worry about buying magazines because they're like $6 each. You just start collecting them. There's tons of free stuff everywhere. So So you pretty much manifested pretty finding much. magazines. Pretty much. I just had one love. How cool is that? <laughs> <laughs> so how do you, what's your, because there's no method, I don't think, for version. What's your um, method? My first vision board actually started in Australia, and what I actually did was I took a wall in my house and I started really small like you know I can see that you put a lot of energy and effort into this I think I started with one photo and it was just of someone doing yoga because yeah. I wanted to add more yoga into my life and uh, I started literally adding you know photo by photo but as you said everything I put on this vision board came true <laughs> so after a while you have to start over yeah you know there's a point where you it's time to retire your vision board and yeah I think you mentioned at the beginning that you've also started a new one yep not ready um, to share yet so <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else that we need to know about vision boarding um no I just think I think the most important thing is believing in it and just believing in it and whatever you put up there believe that you will have it and that you can have it and don't let anything or anyone stop you from believing that because you can have anything that you want if you really truly believe it in your heart I believe absolutely and that's yeah. you know our whole philosophy about our mala beads it's yeah. you know a physical manifestation of our goals and yeah. you know that reminder and I think a vision board is just you know one other step to do to literally like manifesting and living yeah. your dreams yeah 
Check out Jen's blog, smilewithyourheart.com. It's absolutely amazing, oh, and people thanks. read it all around the world. Yeah. Um, I'm always so impressed when I hear all the amazing stories in Australia and all around Canada oh, and the States. Thanks. Yeah. And uh, check out tinyvotions.com. Tiny